What's going on guys, John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a form to add users to your database with Python and Django. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to create a form so that we can add people to our database from the website. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership, that's all my courses, videos, and books, for one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, so we've got our website so far, and we put a couple of things in the database just so that we could spit them out onto the screen, and we've just kind of spit them out onto our homepage. In this video, we want to create a web form so that we can manually add people from the website or they can add themselves to sign up to our website without having to go through the Django admin area like we did to add uh, these two records. So if you haven't watched the first two videos in this playlist, check them out with the link below. And uh, yeah, so let's do this. So first things first, let's head over here and let's create a new web page. Let's just do this on its own web page. So I'm going to call this join. So let's in our views.py, let's create a join function. And we want to pass in request. And for now, we just want to I'm just going to copy this line here. And instead of home.html, we want this to be join.html. And we don't want this context dictionary stuff. Okay, so let's save this. Now we need a URL. So go to our urls.py file. And I'm just going to copy this path and paste it in, but instead of nothing, we want this to be at join, and we want this to point to views.join, and we want the name to be join. Okay, so go ahead and save that. Now we need a template, so go to our templates directory, right click a new file, and let's file save as, and let's save this as join.html, and then let's just put h1 join today, and let's go ahead and save this. Now let's test this out. Remember, we've got our server running in our Git Bash terminal. So now we can head back over to our website and go to forward slash join, and we get this join today page. Okay, so we need to create a form, and I like to use Bootstrap, the CSS framework. So let's go to getbootstrap.com, and let's type get started, or click the get started link, and just come down here to the starter template and click copy. And let's head back over to our sublime text. Now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna create a base file. And so I'm gonna go to templates and click new file. I'm just gonna paste this in and let's file save as, and let's call this base.html. And if you don't know what I'm doing here, I check out my channel for our other Django videos where, where we talk about base.html and extending base and, and all that good stuff. So here, instead of hello world, we want to put our Django tags for block content. And then we want to close that tag. So end block. And let's just grab this, copy it and head back over to our join.html file. And let's put this stuff inside of here. Okay, and up here we want to extend base, as we do extends base.html. And let's save this and let's just head back over and re-click this just to make sure, okay, hello world, which is not what we want. Let's see, what do we do wrong? Block content and block base.html. Oh, we got to save this file, save that again. Now join today. Okay. And also let's wrap this in a div. So div class equals container. And this is just a bootstrap container that will, we'll see what it does here in a second. Oops. And close our div tag. And I'm also going to put a couple of line breaks here just for good measure. All right, so if we save this and come back over here and hit reload, boom, it kind of bops that down. That's what that container does. It pushes it over and then the line breaks push it down a little bit. So we can also extend this. We can grab these two tags to our home page. So again, wrap all of our stuff in our content block. 
And we can tab this over if we want to make it look nice. And just up at the top, we just extends our base again. Extends base.html, wrap this in a quotation mark. So save this. Now if we come back and just go to our homepage. All right, that looks nicer now. It's been bootstrapified. And OK, so we've got Bootstrap installed. We've got our base extended and all that good stuff. Let's head back over to Bootstrap and click on, let's see, I think components and then forms. And here we see a basic web form, right? So we can just copy this and let's head back over to our sublime text and to our join.html. And then just below our join today tag here, we could just paste this in. And if we save this and just come back to the website and look and see what we got here, we see we got this web form. It's kind of nice. It glows and stuff. Nice little button. And uh, OK, so we need more fields than this, right? So let's head back over here and let's look through here. Here's the email address. Now, I don't like this, I'm going to put these things inside of here with placeholders. So instead of having an input type, or instead of having labels, first off, let's get rid of this label. We'll never share your information and all that stuff. And then we want to get rid of this label. And we also want to get rid of this label. And instead, inside the input type itself, we can put placeholder equals email address. And inside of this one, we can go placeholder equals password. Right? Instead of submit, let's say uh, sign up. And instead of a blue button, I want it to be a gray button. So I'm going to make this secondary. And this is all just bootstrap stuff. If you're not familiar with bootstrap, check my channel. I've got tons of videos on Django and bootstrap. All right, so now if we hit reload, we get email address and password, and that looks better to me. Also, this check me out, we don't want that, so let's get rid of that. Uh, here it is, check me out, check me out. Form check, so let's just get rid of all of this. All right, so if we save this, come back. All right, looking better. So we need more than these two fields, like I said. So. What do we need? Well, let's go to our models.py. We need a first name, last name, email, password, and age. So we have email and password. Let's do first name, last name, and age. So to do that, I'm just going to copy any of these, the whole div class. And let's just paste in three of them. So one, two, three. So in this input type, it's not email anymore. It's text. So we can change that for each of them. Right. And let's see the ID. We don't really even need an ID. So I'm just going to take that out. So let's see ID equals we'll take that out. ID equals take that out. The placeholder text. This will be let's go first name. And here let's go last name. And here let's go age. Okay, so let's save this and see what we got. So first name, last name, age, email address and password. And check out this password. If we start to type in a password here, uh, we get these dots. That's what a password field does. Now here, this is an email field. So if we don't put a valid email, we get this red thing, right? So if we go, boom, now it's valid. So that's kind of cool. All right, this is kind of smooshed together. Let's put some line breaks here to make this look nicer. I'll just put a couple of line breaks. I'm lazy. Save this, come back, hit reload. All right, that's looking a little better. Maybe one underneath the sign up button. I don't know, I'm just playing at this point because it's kind of fun. All right, that's looking better. Now we can change the size of these using bootstrap classes, but I'm just going to leave it like this for now because we don't really care how this looks at this point. What we're interested in is the functionality. And I want to teach you in this video mostly how to make this work. So first things first, each of these boxes needs a name. And they don't have a name. So let's go name equals 
And I'm just going to copy this and put it in each one. And let's see. I already put it there. So uh, let's see. Yeah, this one needs one. Okay, is that all of them? Right. So for the name for each one, let's just name them what we named our models. So uh, the first name we named our model F name. For last name, we named it L name. And I'm just getting that straight from our models.py. So F name, L name, email, password, and age, right? So let's come back here. So last name, age is just age. Uh, let's see, this one is email, so email. And the password is P-A-S-S-W-D. Okay, so creating names on here allows us to then reference that later on in our view if we want to. So, okay, our form was looking good. Now we need to come up here to this form tag and we need to make some changes here. So the first thing we need to do is call a method. So we want this method to be post and we want the action to point to where we want this to go, right? So we want this to go to URL join. And this is just a Django link that will point back to our join page. So we want to submit the form and then we want that information to be submitted back to the, the join page, which is on our views.py file as join, right? So the information will get submitted to this function. And then inside of here, we can do stuff with that function to add it to the database, right? So let's save this. Let's save our join.html. Oh, we need one more thing. We need a cross-site request forgery token. This is just to keep hackers from hijacking your form. All web frameworks require these these days. So we just create this tag and it's just CSRF underscore token. Okay, so if we save this, head back over to the website, hit reload, make sure everything's okay. Uh-oh, something's gone wrong here. Uh, that shouldn't be password. What did I do? Let's see. Somehow this got changed. I was copying and pasting and something went wrong. So this is a text field and the placeholder should be uh, first underscore name. How in the world did that happen? All right, so let's save this. Let's check all these other ones just to make sure. Text, last name, text, age. And this area described by is email help for each of these. We could probably take that off or we could just leave it. Doesn't really matter. Okay, so now if we right click to view the page source, we can see our form is method post. So we're gonna post the data. The action that it's pointing to our join page. We have this CSRF token, which has created this gobbledygooky token right there. So that looks good. And okay, everything looks good. So now the question becomes, what happens when we submit this stuff? So now when we submit it, nothing happens. It just comes back to the website. So we have to write some code in order to sort of uh, play around with this. So this video is getting a little bit long. I think we'll stop right here for now. We've got our page signed. Uh, we've got our page created. We've got our form created. Now all we have to do is deal with it on the back end when somebody fills it out. And I think we'll do that in the next video. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. So you pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 40 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 85,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and we'll see you in the next video.